So on today's wellness tips for you Wednesday, I am talking about benefits of exercise which are separate to sort of just our overall fitness level because um, I think you know well, well when you, actually when you think about it um, only between about 10 to 30 percent of our results from exercise as far as a calorie burn goes is due to um, us exercising which is a bit scary I think a lot of us think we burn up a lot more calories than we do and um, actually the majority thanks for the hearts um, the majority of the um, energy that we burn, the caloric energy that we burn on a daily basis comes from our metabolism. About 10% gets burnt by our digestive systems and around about 10 to 30% is burnt up by your workout. So depending on how strenuous and I suppose how long you work out for will depend upon the amount of calories that you burn. But there are so many, many, many other reasons for working out. I love all the hearts, thank you. Um, and for me, if I had to choose between working out to burn calories or working out to feel better, I know hands down which one I would choose. Definitely the one to feel better. And I think actually exercise is the one thing I've done throughout the worst times of my life. And I think it's the one thing that's actually kept me sane. And I would even go so far as to say it's what has kept me here still today. I think without without exercise and having that ability to help support my mental health, I might have decided to just find another option out. Um, anyhow, so I just wanted to sort of go over some of the, the you know the ways that the that exercise helps us, which is not related to fitness. So primarily, it's your mental health. That's the biggest one for me. Um, the reason why is because exercise helps us gobble up uh, the stress hormones, cortisol and um, adrenaline as it gets adrenaline, our adrenal glands release the cortisol. And also cortisol is something that we're releasing gradually throughout the day in any case. It's, it's sort of our stress response. So, um, you know, whether, whether it's um, even exercise, actually over-exercising can increase your cortisol. Um, but, you know, w with our busy lifestyles nowadays, we are, most of us are having way too much cortisol in our systems. And that has all sorts of knock-on negative effects. But one of the main things about exercise is it gobbles up that uh, cortisol. And it also releases um, endorphins, which make us way, way happier. I mean, you know, when if you do like... I, I notice the biggest difference between the types of exercise I do, when I do a cardio-based exercise or a HIIT training exercise... They nearly kill me off, but I get such a boost of feeling better and more relaxed and chilled and at peace with the world than when I do a strength training exercise workout. Even though I love strength training, cardio is absolutely what does it for me. And we also release something called the um, brain-derived, I always want to say deprived, brain-derived neuropath <laughs> neurotrophic factor which also makes us feel better that's what gives us that sense of as well as the endorphins that sense of great peace and feeling at ease after we've done our workout so um mental health for me all the time in uh, my community of coaches I have quite a few fellow coaches who actually joined the business some of them were suicidal some of them were really struggling with their depression and through the accountability, I suppose, of being a coach, you, you kind of have to show up and do it. Um, it's helped them get over that. And now they are absolutely thriving. And they put that down largely to exercise. Some of it is nutrition because so much of it is tied to our gut health. But I'm not talking about that today. It's really specifically just about sort of exercise. So um, also exercise helps to strengthen our bones and strengthen our muscles now. I think we often forget that bones are living organs and we're, you know, our cells need to renew in our bones. And in fact, the entire body, because we're always renewing our, our cells, we kind of, I can't remember what the time frame is, but we actually regenerate a brand new body every however long it is. It's not that long, actually. It's quite fascinating. So, um, it's really important, particularly as we get older and particularly um, as ladies go through the menopause, because um, 
our estrogen levels drop off and we have a much higher race, uh, rate of uh, risk sorry, of, of getting uh, brittle bone disease and soft bones and um, strength training is one of the best things that you can do in order to keep your bones nice and strong and also your muscles. Um, but the, so for, for the bones in particular, it's strength, it's weight bearing exercises that you need, um, either exercises that m make the muscles work hard so they're pulling on the bones or um, things like press ups, running, um, star jumps, yeah, any, anything sort of that's fairly bouncy. Um, things like swimming and cycling are not weight bearing, although they will strengthen your bone, uh, sorry, your muscles, and they're really good for your heart and obviously oxygenating the body. They are not weight bearing exercises. So um, if you are getting older and you know, you are an avid runner, uh, sorry, an avid cycler or an avid swimmer, you might want to, well, I would say start to introduce some weight bearing exercises into your routine as well. So, um, and then muscles, when we actually work out, we break down the whole, the process of working out and exercises. Thank you for the hearts. You guys are so generous. Um, we actually break down muscle fibers and after we've worked out, the body rebuilds them by pretty much fusing them together and that will create the, the Popeye muscles. Not on me, but I can dream. So we get the Popeye muscles and um, just stronger muscle formation and that's how exercise actually creates muscles. Um, another thing with exercise and, and another massively important one is the fact that it oxygenates our body. It oxygenates our cells. So when our heart rate is up and we're pumping more blood through the body, that blood is, and we're obviously breathing in more oxygen, we are delivering oxygen to our cells, we're helping to get rid of toxins, we're delivering nutrients to the cells, and the whole, the whole sort of internal system has been sped up and, and also lymph is improved when we're moving because uh, our lymphatic system doesn't have a pump like our heart system, our circulatory system does. So exercise and breathing help uh, stimulate the lymphatic system too. And obviously that helps get rid of um, you know, dead cells and dodgy cells and viruses and bacteria and all that kind of stuff as well. So when we oxygenate our bodies, we, I mean, there are so many benefits of it. So you, you detox, you feed your cells, you get much better brain clarity. Um, it stimulates the vagus nerve, which is, a, it gives you a relaxation response. Um, I mean, also a lot of cells, a lot of cancer cells, um, cannot, and viruses and bacteria cannot survive in an anaerobic environment. So essentially, if you're pumping your body full of oxygen or your cells, you know, you're oxygenating your cells well, you're saying no to those bad cells or the, the, the bad things that can get a hold of us. So, um, yeah, oxygen is incredibly important to us. Uh, so, and obviously that when we're exercising, our rate of breathing goes up and so we get more oxygen and blood flow around our body. Um, also, it helps strengthen the heart muscle. The heart is a muscle and when we're working it out and it's pumping fast in order to keep oxygenating us, our, our, our bodies and keep the blood, you know, pumping through to our muscles and feeding our muscles, that heart's getting stronger the more we use it. And so that helps to reduce blood pressure because a strong heart can pump the blood around the body more easily. And so your blood pressure drops as well. Also helps to um, regulate blood sugar levels. So people with diabetes too, actually a lot of them if you combine lifestyle changes, can actually get rid, get out of diabetes too. Um, but essentially, when we're working out, our muscles need sugar. So the, the, the blood feeds our muscles with sugar and it reduces the blood sugar levels. And um, it can actually have a positive effect on our blood sugar levels for about 12 hours after we've exercised. So again, it's really, really good for, I mean, just on every single level, really. Um, another thing, interestingly, is that recent research has shown that we actually produce our own vitamin D. So, you know, the easiest way to get vitamin D is just get outside in the sunshine or bright, bright light for sort of 20 to 30 minutes every day. Um, many of us are vitamin D deficient because a lot of us don't go outside at all during the day unless it's sort of sprint to the car and then sprint out of the car to the office or sprint out of the car to the coffee shop or whatever it might be. Um, 
And so a lot of us are deficient in vitamin D. And vitamin D has like myriad benefits for the health, for the body, particularly mental health, actually. Um, but recent research has shown that we actually create vitamin D ourselves. And we exercise promotes the creation of vitamin D. Well, vitamin D will also help you sleep. So exercise, as well as having a beneficial effect on sleep, because A, it tires you out, B, it gobbles up your stress hormones, but also vitamin D helps you spend... Oops, sorry, I've got a phone call coming in. It's, it's my mum. <laughs> I hope she doesn't mind me cutting her off. Um, vitamin, uh, vitamin D helps us stay for a longer period of time in the deeper restorative stages of our sleep. So, again, exercise will help you with your sleep it also makes you feel better about yourself you know it can boost your self-image it's a very it's a superficial benefit but why not celebrate it if you're exercising you might see your waist getting a bit slimmer you feel your muscles building in your body you'll feel leaner and stronger underneath your body uh, underneath your skin rather and that's a really nice feeling and I think particularly if you struggle with anxiety and if you struggle with depression it's just one of those little things that can make a big difference to the start to your day is when you're starting to feel more body confident and that has a knock-on effect on so many other different you know it can improve your sex life how many people turn off the light before they strip off just imagine if you really feel like sort of sexy in your skin it's, it has a massive massive if, impact on so many different areas of your life so um, you know, self-image, I don't think it's the most, in my opinion, it's not the most important thing, but it is certainly something um, uh, worth considering. It's also time for you. So when you're exercising, you know, when I'm working out, I know that's my time. And obviously, if the house was burning down, I would stop my workout, go and put the fire out, and then I'd probably press, press play again. But unless it's something really important, my workout is my time. It's 30 minutes a day. And I think it's really vital because our days are so busy and it's, you know, you might be somebody who likes to meditate. And I'm all for meditation. I'm all for just time out, even if it's five minutes. But I, I for me, my exercise is my, my individual time in the day and it, it just makes a massive, massive difference. So, um, so, and also stem cells. I do want to mention the fact that when we exercise, we increase the production of stem cells and stem cells are, are so key to our overall health on every single level I remember when I was pregnant uh, about 20 years ago and I said to the midwife do you want to take the stem cells from the umbilical cord because they can use the stem cells to then help people who've had chemotherapy or he, who need um, bone, bone marrow transplants AIDS uh, HIV um, victims and things like that stem cells are incredibly important and they, did, they didn't have the foggiest idea of what I was talking about it's just like this is supposed to be a really valuable resource and now people are becoming more aware of the benefit of stem cells um, but even stem cells you, they can even create small they can actually build new blood vessels they are so important so for instance if you've had a heart attack and you've got damaged heart muscle um, stem cells are just vital they will help create little new passages where the blood can flow to actually feed the heart muscle so um, you know exercise helps to us to create and produce stem cells and finally also helps to um, uh, build the mito mitochondria which are like the little they're like the little batteries in our in our cells so people say oh I can't work out I haven't got the energy to work out that's why you should work out because en um, exercise actually gives you energy so it fuels and creates extra mitochondria in our cell cells which then gives us more energy and so you know Instead of not being able to run up the steps and having to take the lift or not being able to run after your kids in the park or whatever it might be, an exercise just gives you, I mean, so many benefits on so many different levels um, without, you know, aside from the fact that you may not burn as many calories as you think you do. 
Um, I think it's also, uh, inter you know, very important to remember that if you do, if you work out regularly, don't then assume you can just go and eat all the stuff for the rest of the day because you can't. You do have to watch what you eat. But exercise does mean, particularly when you do strength training exercises, there is there is a more there is a higher caloric burn during the 24 hour period following a strength training exercise than there is that you get from a cardiac a cardio exercise you'll probably say if you did like half an hour of cardio compared to half an hour of strength you probably earn use up a bit a few more calories during the cardio half an hour but the cumulative burn following a strength training exercise um which is great because I love strength training, um, you, you'll actually burn up more calories that way. So just bear that in mind. Don't just think it gives you a, the free ticket to go and eat all the stuff and drink all the stuff because it doesn't. So anyway, I hope that helped. I hope it was interesting. And uh, I just think it's fascinating the benefits that we get from working out. And in my opinion, mental health is the most important byproduct of a regular workout. Uh, routine so yeah friends thank you for joining me and if you've got any um subject you want me to cover next wellness tips for you wednesday um either send me a message or leave me a comment and i'll get this uploaded to my youtube so if you want to these all go onto my igtv by the way and also my youtube so if you want to catch up with previous sessions just go and have a look on my um igtv or my um youtube channel i will catch you soon thank you for joining me